But this is um, just a quick couple slides I want to show. So like I kind of came up with this idea on the call and I included it in here a little bit, the goal oriented marketing, but really I tried to stick to what Wendy seemed to like most, which is this, uh, you know, bronze, silver, gold presentation. Okay. So this is, I think that like they could even use this slideshow in their presentation if they want to style it up differently, they can. But, um, you know, these are the numbers I came up with for, uh, you know, the different sponsorships. I think the numbers are definitely in the right range. They can tweak them. But here, so then I break it down further. The bronze package, very visual. You know, it's the website. It's an ad here because it's bronze. Um, oh, I got to change the colors on these other ones. But uh, and then it's a print ad here. The silver is a print ad, but I'll make this silver. It's a medium rectangle ad here. So, I mean, just to summarize, though, I'm keeping it simple, like we said, Terry. You know, so it's basically a print ad, and they can tell me what they want to charge. I mean, they're charging by column inch is just so confusing to me. It'd be just, but I guess they have to do that. Um, leaderboard, directory, and then in the newsletter. So it's basically each package has one web ad and it's either a leaderboard or a medium rectangle. Um, I just think presenting it like this is easier than having like a single shot of the homepage with, you know, boxes everywhere, you know, like this just breaks it down. Bronze is this, silver is this, and includes the directory. Gold is this. It's everything you saw before, slightly different. You know, it's on the front page. It's on the leaderboard and then the newsletter. Does this make sense? Does this like jive, you think, as a way to present this? Yeah, I like that a lot. All right. I used cool. to do that too. For Trader's Guide, we would come up with different bundles with that. Yeah. So yeah, this rings true to me. Right. And so these are the pricing bundles, and this is the special deal that's only available during the Blitz. When they're selling it, it would go up to these other prices during the rest of the year. The other thing is this. I don't know if she's going to even want to show this to the advertisers, but goal-oriented marketing, I think this is a helpful way to think of it to like give them some guidance so that you know, no matter what your purpose is, promoting an event, we can take those packages and apply them here. So like um, they all include a print ad. That's the same no matter what you're doing. Um, but then like for a web ad, the difference here is like, I don't know, just you would run an ad depending on what package you bought. If you bought the gold, it's a leaderboard ad. If you bought the bronze, it's a business card ad on the right column. But um, basically we would create two versions of that ad. One would run up to a week before the event and then it would change so that it stands out a little bit more right before the event. Um, you know, and you see how that's just, and, and then compare that, you know, to like um, selling a product or service. I mean, it, it's not really as timely, so you don't need that ad changed effect. Um, you know, so like these are just all different, basically applications of the, the sponsorship packages. Um, I guess probably the best example of the differences is like the email. Like when you're promoting an event, you want to send a newsletter email out one week or two weeks before the event, whatever. If you're selling a product or service, then, you know, you kind of want to be either as a banner ad in the newsletter or maybe they just write a newsletter for you that, um, you know, talks about your expertise in the industry or something. It's like it's got to be labeled as sponsored content. But if you're just trying to increase brand awareness, you know, then probably just like a month of sponsoring the newsletter is better than having one, you know, email where they talk about you. So you just would have your name at the top of the, the weekly newsletter that, that has the teasers. Um, so for all this to really work, we've got to get their newsletter working. And I created a ticket for Jack to start um, sending an automated newsletter just to us from them so they can see how easy it is and then they can sell it. Um, so that's basically my presentation to them. Do you have any thoughts on this slide or any anything else in here? 
No, I, I'm good. Everything makes sense. I think it's very attractive. You can engage anybody with it. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, I think it's kind of like, um, it's a good mix between like a traditional rate card and kind of like the, the direction I think rate cards need to go. Um, <clears throat> all right, great, thank you. So uh, that's that, school-oriented marketing. 